Well, hello, it's Pastor Jim again from First Baptist here in Prince Albert. And this week we've been talking about prayer. We've been using the letters of the word pray to remind us that prayer consists of four essential parts. Praise, repentance, asking, and yielding. So far, we've covered the importance of praising God for who he is and what he's done, and repentance, which is asking God for forgiveness and also turning away from sin. So now let's take a closer look at asking God in prayer. When you love someone, you share with them your hopes and dreams. Part of praying with God who loves us and wants our love in return, is sharing with God the desires of our heart. Jesus told his followers in Matthew 7, 7, Ask, and it will be given to you. Seek, and you will find. Knock, and the door will be opened to you. And many people have taken this verse, cut it out of its context, and run with it. Asking God for everything from healing to heaps of money. And it's here that we see the importance of the first two parts of prayer. Without a sense of praise and repentance, it would be easy to cut this verse out of context and see it as kind of a divine vending machine. Pick a thing in the machine, say the right words, and presto, you're rich. Well, God is not a vending machine. If we come to him in praise and repentance, then asking him for things takes on a different tone than give me more of this and give me more of that. We must realize that this verse and asking God is not a blank check, but rather a promise that God will respond to us when we pray. What do we ask for? Well, you name it. Ask for health. Ask for funds if you need funds. Ask for healing if you need healing. I've done everything from ask God to protect me while I'm driving. I remember as a teenager, I prayed that God would help the bus to show up on time. I pray, for him, I pray to him in hard times and good, and I've prayed for healing from cancer. The key is, is that we ask knowing who he is. We ask knowing what he's already done for us. We ask knowing that we're not perfect. And we ask trusting him that he will give us what we need. Asking also means that we ask for help for others and not just ourselves. Justin Bieber, and yes, I am quoting a Justin Bieber song in one of these videos. Back in the day, sang a song called Pray. And in it, he sings, I close my eyes and pray for the brokenhearted. I pray for all the souls in need. He's on the right track. For when we pray for the needs of others, we are placing them in the very hands of God. P-R-A-Y. Praise, repent, ask and yield. Tomorrow we wrap this up by looking at what it means to yield to God in prayer. May God bless you richly and deeply today.